Yes, um, Lauren, starring the beautiful Troy and sitting next to me. Hi, sorry. <laughs> so good to see you. It's gorgeous. Uh, playing her mother. And um, listen. Um, so yeah, it's unbelievably exciting. It's a, a time, timely, well written. Production values are incredibly high, and so it's really exciting to be a part of it. And the actors are incredible. So, well, I thought about um, you know I come from a family with military in my background, but I didn't grow up an army brat exactly. But we were overseas. And so I'm a little familiar with some of the culture of families who have been involved in the military for a long time, and the sons and daughters of soldiers and officers, and the commitment to that life and what it means. And I think that my character, who is um, kind of in denial about post-traumatic stress disorder and some of these our newer psychological understanding of the trauma that can occur with, to soldiers, just wants to make it in terms of, well, it's your duty and it's glory and, um, you know, almost like a pioneer woman, like we suck it up, this is what we do and we carry on, this is who we are and you need to suck it up. And so there's a, I think her daughter's experience is starting to crumble her perception and she's trying very hard to hang on to it. So I think that's a very universal experience. I have a daughter, she's only 10, but when I watch her in pain, uh, sometimes it makes me question things that I had taken for granted before. And I think as mothers and as fathers, that's how we learn from our children. We have to re-examine, have I been doing things maybe not the right way? And that's how every generation grows. So, so I really use my own experience to answer your question. So, so I, I think it, it is a place to try to give women who have, are facing this experience, or friends of women who are facing this experience, the resources to know they're not alone. Um, it's an ongoing uh, issue that many people are becoming more aware of. It obviously came out in Congress in the last few weeks and months that they're, they're trying to re-examine how they're handling these cases, how they're looking at these cases, because there's been case after case after case of people feeling unjustly served, uh, and that, that, that people and things have been swept under the rug. and So um, that's really exciting, to be involved in something that has meaning right now, uh, and to be able to do it on the web like that gives it you instant um, access to people whenever they want it. At the end of every episode is the number and a place to call if you're looking for help. So, you know, that's a really exciting, and John Abnett's brainchild, and, you know, great to be a part of it.